Guilford County school leaders are prepared to ask for nearly $26 million to be added to its fiscal budget, and $19 million of that would fund teacher supplements. Yeah, Fox 8's Daniel Pierce spoke with the superintendent three hours ago. Daniel, teachers aren't the only staff members included in this. Absolutely, and here's how that money breaks down and how it will go to the faculty and staff. About $10 million is going to be going for teacher supplements. This right here adds about $130 per month to their paycheck. The next is going to go to 5.5 million to a, uh, a compensation study, if you will. What that includes is looking at how bus drivers, custodians, maintenance technicians, how much they're paid in other counties and how it compares to Guilford County Schools. And then the last is $3.25 million. That is going to be going to raises for principals and assistant principals. Guilford County is the third largest county in North Carolina. When you break down pay for teachers and principals, the image is different, and it's been that way for a while. Surrounding districts are now recruiting our principals uh, because their pay uh, for high school principals, as I shared with the board before, is in the range of $150,000 to $175,000. Last year, the district lost more than 8% of its teachers. Superintendent Dr. Sharon Contreras tells Fox 8 the first step is raising the base pay for them. It's really, I think, driving teachers out of the profession, along with, you know, working conditions and just how difficult the pandemic was. But certainly, if they had a better uh, base pay. The district will also enter the year with 50 fewer teacher positions available. The state cut funding for that amount after nearly 3,000 students unenrolled. Most were between kindergarten and fifth grade. I would argue that we still need the same amount of teachers that we have. Even if you lose two or three students per class in one school. That's because the money is going to be spent on basic infrastructure needs throughout the school year. Uh, yesterday had to send students home at Northeast uh, Guilford Middle School because the rooms were uh, too hot and it was only 80 degrees yesterday. That's, they should be getting combat pay uh, because they are in a combat, combat zone. When they come into a, a facility and the, the, leaks, the roofs are leaking, they don't have heat, they don't have air conditioning. Uh, we're asking them to teach the leaders of tomorrow, and that's not good. Now, we don't have a time for when the compensation study will be completed. The school board, though, will hold a public meeting on May 10th, and that is regarding that budget. If approved, it will then go to county commissioners, and they will decide whether it passes.